Hi everyone, Tysel here. Uh, this is just a short video to accompany my tutorial in Computer Arts 209 where I talk about using InDesign to combine images with um, type. It's a very straightforward thing to do um, but it can lead to some very effective results. Um, instead of just building everything up I'm going to break apart what we've already got done and talk to you about the uh, relevant points. So jumping into stage two where I talk about you've already got your type set and how do you turn this into outlines. Well you could actually just go in and select all this type and press command shift O to turn it to outlines but um, what you're going to end up with is uh, overlap. If I just turn that section to outlines you can see here you've got that overlapping there which you could resolve but it's just you know a fiddle um, you're probably better off as I suggest actually dealing with each letter form on an individual basis I mean this typography is very roughed up and you're going to want to uh, tidy things up anyway so suggest you just copy out each individual letter form and paste it. As I say it's uh, command shift O. That turns it to outlines. What I mean by that is it's effectively taken the type, the live type, and turned it into a binding box that you can paste or import images into like so. And um, there are a few other things that you can do once you've turned that to outlines. In fact if I just um, I just jump over to the main illustration or the main poster design you can see that the there's a nice place, here we go you can see the effect that I'm going for over from preview one is this type cutting through these shapes to reveal the illustration that's below and to help um, reinforce that effect you see the drop shadow, the inner shadow in there that's again very straightforward thing to do if you select your type and press command alt M that brings up your effects panel rather annoyingly it always uh, defaults to drop shadow on and you want to choose inner shadow and um, yeah I always tend to edit these effects, you don't want to leave them on the default, it can look a bit clunky um, and what I'm going for is quite a um, tight shadow that expresses that the level of depth between the type and the image is um, very narrow so something like that will do tighten the uh, shadow itself up and I also sort of tend to steer away from using black all the time um, and go with a dark colour that's relevant to the design and the illustration beneath. So yeah, that's something else you can do. The um, getting the image to actually paste in place is um, also again very straightforward thing to do if I demonstrate it here by I'll remove the image from there and just unlock my illustration layer select this image command C target the type and command alt V and it pastes the image in the exact same place 
And that's how we achieve that effect. Um, I just come back a few stages. You can see how I've got this section of type um, as a tint to actually pick out these three letter forms here. That's uh, again very straightforward. It's um, firstly, if I just delete the image from within there, you can see that the type is separate from the other type, and it's been given a coloured background. It's uh, this pink. And then what I've actually done is the image that I've pasted in place is set to overlay at 65% under the effects panel. And that achieves that, uh, that nice tint you can see there. So that's pretty much all the points within the workshop um, covered. Uh, just to reiterate, live text to outline, that is command shift O and pasting in place is command alt V and bringing up the effects panel is command alt M hope you find this useful. Um, see you soon.